now. So here you can see that this is a problem uh, where we have to find the value of x. That's all means we have to find the value of x in, in the range of values of these two. So let's see here that first of all, you can see that uh, it is given that, it is given that three cos squared x minus sine x and cos x equals to zero. Now take cos x common from both. So if you are taking cos x common, then you are left with here, here inside the bracket, three cos x minus sine x equals to zero. That means we have two things that one you have as cos x equals to zero. And then another you have as three cos x minus sine x equals to zero. And uh, it gives you tan inverse three. So you can suppose this as equation one, uh, two, and then this is equation one. So you know that uh, from equation one, from one, cos x equals to zero means x equals to cos inverse zero and cos zero occurs at angle how many degrees 90 degrees so the principal value for x is 90 degree first of all so then we draw a cos x so cos is maximum at uh, x equals to zero that is one and then it will be zero at 90 degree and again it will attain the minimum value you can see here the minimum value is negative one at 180 degree and it will pass through 270 degree okay and then at 270 degree it is zero, then it will go again at maximum point at 260 degree. So we have seen that the principal value for X is 90 degree uh, for cos X equal to zero. So another value zero occurs at 270 degrees, all right? So that another answer is X equals to uh, 270 degrees or you can say that uh, 180 plus 90 degrees equals to 270 degrees. Okay, so in this way, you note down the sort of value of value of X by using uh, cos X equals to zero. It will be zero again. And then below that, uh, this will go near and near to the line X equals 270 degrees, but it never tosses because the curve is asymptotic about the line x equal to 270 degrees and we cannot go beyond 360 degrees because domain is fixed to be up to 360 degree only and here there are two things one thing is that y equal to 10x and another thing is that y equals to 3 and this means uh, 10x equal to 3 means we'll find the point of intersection between these two so first of all we'll see that uh, tan x equals to 3 means x equals to tan inverse 3 equals to tan x and for y equals to 3 your graph will be like this so this is the line y equals to 3 so when you find point of intersection of this curve and the line then we'll have solution for this equation and here so first of all you find the principal value of the angle so it is uh, tan x equal to 3, then x equal to tan inverse 3. Let's go to the calculator, calculator first of all. So in the calculator, you can see this is tan inverse. So this is tan inverse, that is arc tan means this is inverse. And then we need to find 3 equal in degrees 71.565 degrees. You can say it is uh, round off to one decimal place is 
six degrees. So it is 71.6 degrees. So principal value for tan is 71.6 degrees. If you are measuring that in degrees. So let's go here to check it. So 71.6 degrees means our first value is here. All right. So at this point, we get the point of intersection between the line uh, y equal to 3 and this is here. So at this point, you can see that this is our value on the line. So first value is here, 71.6 degrees. Okay. Now, what is the another point of intersection you can see here? It is just ahead of 180 degree. So in 180 degrees, okay, in 180 degrees, if you increase that by 71.6, then it will give you the value 251.6. It will give you the value 251.6. So we, can, we could find the point of intersection between the line from here to here. So this value is 251.6 degrees. And then do we have any other point? No. So up to here only we have point of intersections between the line y equal to 3 and the curve tan x. So therefore, all together, the solution for x are x you can see here is 51.6 degrees. And lastly, it is 200. 70 degrees. So possible values for the degree degrees are this that is 71.6 degrees, 90 degrees, 251.6 degrees, and 270 degrees. And this is the answer for this question.